so we'll starts with the initially uh, with the core java concepts okay so okay. why because in selenium without a core java we cannot mm -hmm. write the web driver script selenium web driver scripts okay first we will starts with uh, some concepts about the core java then we will okay. jump into the selenium why because if you directly write the programming in selenium web driver by using java so it's very okay. difficult what i am writing in this in the tool okay so first okay. i will cover four to five sessions on core java and i will okay. start saying okay so what sure. do you mean by java here is java is an object oriented programming language and uh, what are the programming you are writing in java it's similar to c and c++ they use to develop this java programming they use the syntax of c and c++ language and this language is an independent language what do you mean by independent language here is the java language is not depending on any other languages it's some languages what it will happen if you know some skills then only you can learn that languages but it's not java it's totally independent it's not depending on any other language java is a platform independent and by using java programming language we can develop the applications what type of applications we can develop like a web based application desktop applications like gui applications and also we can develop the in a embedded application embedded embedded systems embedded based applications like mobile devices and all these things so this with this programming skills this types of complete environment for developing applications like a desktops server related server related means web based applications and deployment in embedded embedded environment and actually the java it was developed by the company initially sun microsystem in the year 1991 and developed by so and so person like james closing and patrick these are the guys that developed this the language and during initial period the java we are going to call it as oak from the year of 1991 to 1995 and they developed this java language by using the uh, skills of C and C++ object oriented concepts they use it and uh, they develop this Java language and what are the futures we have in Java so the main future here is what are the programming you are writing in Java this makes the Java application easy to develop and we can maintain very easily and we are going to use all the oops characteristics in Java while you are writing any programming in Java oops concepts oops concepts means like C++ concepts we are going to use it in Java and uh, this language is independent language I told you so what are the scape programming you are writing normally the Java programming we will write in the uh, Eclipse so you need to install the Java first and we required uh, JRE files JDK files you need to download the JRE files you need to download the JDK files you need to install the these three files and then you need to install the Eclipse then you can write the programming in Eclipse and you can run that programming in Eclipse and you can run anywhere but what we required here is JVM what do you mean by JVM here is JVM means Java virtual mission Java virtual machine what this Java virtual machine will do normally if you look at this uh, take this Eclipse now here this is my Eclipse I install the Eclipse just I click on run button just click on OK button so whatever the path it has asked you uh, is it a like what wherever you are running the scripts it will store in that location or it is the Eclipse yeah. location so here once you install the Eclipse first it will ask to ask to save the workspace what do you mean by workspace means like uh, you want to save all the scale programming files no so it will save it now I save it in my this is my workspace selenium class 7 I create one folder with a folder name of selenium class 7 and here uh, automatically in that folders will be created the package this is a package under this package this files will be created now in this SCRC in this folders the programming files all the programming files will be saved so mm -hmm. if you are writing any programming 
it will be saved in the notepad like this so by, by default you will get it so you need to save it whether you want to save it in drive or e drive the location you need to save it so here I created some scripts now the scripts which I created here now I want to run the script now what is this Java virtual machine JVM it will do in the background what are the classes you are creating it will load all the classes in the class loader and this is a code we can understand what we are writing we know this is a negative code, but the machine they don't know the code what it will do it will convert that code to the byte code it will convert the code negative code to the byte code machine code byte code and after that one it will translate to the negative code byte code to the negative code so this is the functioning of the Java virtual machine Java virtual machine it will convert the negative code to the byte code during compilation time and at the runtime the byte code will be converted to the negative code and finally it will be show the result in the console window so that is the main functioning of the Java virtual machine so without Java virtual machine the tool cannot run the programming so Java virtual machine it plays a key role here what is the Java secure secured means what are the programming you are writing it doesn't use any memory pointer memory pointer means Normally in C language we are going to use some pointers to allocate the memory but in the Java we will not use any memory pointer so secure manager determines the accessibility of classes like reading writing to the local list suppose if you want to access this class I want to access this some other class yes you can directly access that class with the package name dot class name directly I can access I can use it I can read it I can write it and if you want to access any class directly what all the classes will be saved in the local disk only you know what are the disk here in the local disk only it's going to save it so it isn't secure it's there in your machine itself it's not saving in some other else it's there so you what are the scripts you're writing it's there in your machine itself and it will be secure so that is the one point and the next one here is uh, Java is robust that means Java provides error checking now what are the uh, errors you are getting in Java you can check it during compilation time only suppose you are writing on programming now just I'm removing this one it's showing directly it's showing an error I cannot go with further steps but because initial itself will showing so this is a compile oh, oh we are getting some error you can check it what is an error but in other languages once you write all the scripts once you save button then only you will find the errors here also you once you save it now just look at this it's showing an error so you can check it what is an error directly and without this you now if you try to run this error what it's showing once you try to run that script so exits error exits in required projects so I cannot if you want to proceed you can proceed but automatically what it will happen it will show the error so syntax error what it's showing insert semicolon to complete the statement so that is the mistake we did it so if you find any error we cannot run the script so we can easily check the syntax errors logical errors during runtime that is an advantage of using java